this is the checkerboard? Yeah. Um, but there's no ramp. I know. Well, how do you get in? You really need to live with your lives. I am! Fine, alright. I'm gonna push on you, and you're gonna pull. It's like double the force. I don't think it works like that. Yes, it does. I'm taking a physics course at DMAT, alright? Don't question. You know what? I give up. I give up. Alright, fine. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not doing that well in physics, alright? It's really bad. Have you ever even been in there? Yeah, usually you just, you tell them I'm here, and then they let me into the back. I am never running errands with you again. It's not that bad. Besides, all we have left is a haircut. <laughs> Can't wait. So, is this business legal? Well, according to the ADA, public accommodations are required to have 50% of their entrances accessible. Because they allow me to go through the kitchen, it is considered accessible in that way. I don't typically go into the checkerboard because there are plenty of businesses that have main entrances accessible to me, and I don't see the point in going through the trouble when I can go to those businesses. But under the law, they are accessible. Whether that's enough or not, you can decide. If you want to share other stories like this, Please send a photo to our Facebook page with the hashtag Access the Night. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, you can follow us on Facebook to see all the great things we're doing, as well as follow our Access the Night campaign. Thank you again for watching.